Welcome to Conversations, and welcome to Conversations with one of my favorite friends in the world, that being Coley, a Clark, who doesn't need any introduction for people who view Conversations. We've been a guest many times. We have, we resonate to many of the same uh, thoughts and issues, moral and otherwise, and Coley is so good to see you. Welcome to Conversations. Well, it's always, really always wonderful to appear on your show. It, it truly I is. New York, I, I love this man. If he didn't have a woman, I'd be over there checking I him out. I love this woman, you know, <laughs> if I didn't have a woman, you know, anyway, yeah. Yeah, that's good. We go way back and everything like that, and you've been, you've had such a, you you ran for the Senate of the United States from the uh, state of New York, and you are in the Green Party, yes. and you've been in, the, you are, we got you down as a civil rights pioneer. And that's true. You were doing civil rights before civil rights was even cool. Or even, <laughs> even look, look cool, it you know. It was hot as hell, for sure. <laughs> but it got, it got going. You were right there and everything. So you've been doing that. We had a mutual friend in Stokely you worked with and oh, everything. Yes, yes, but yes. anyway, so Kwame, good to Kwame, see yeah. you. And we're talking now on the 5th of December of the year 2013. So we're going to want to bring things up to date. But let's just go really quick over some of the things we've talked about over the long haul. Uh, what you're feeling about things uh, comprehensively concerned, the state of the union, state of the world, they have a <laughs> state of the union address, state of the world. What you're feeling about things now compared to the programs we did as recently as a couple months ago? And what's the trend and what's your thought about the trend in terms of things political or even larger than political developments yeah. of the human condition now? You yeah, know, it's, 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 uh, we, we live in, in very tragic times actually tragic but you yeah. and I for you and I and some of the things that we have talked about uh, uh, it's, it's like the age of prophecy come okay. true you know the things we talked about about what would happen in terms of the Obama administration versus a uh, uh, Cynthia McKinney yeah. campaign yeah, um, right yeah it's yeah trying hard perhaps but you know it's to, to really meet the needs I of the I think back people. in yeah. 2008 when he was elected, I was very ebullient, very happy, very happy. We all were, very, yeah. yeah, we were really. Yeah. But I think you took a look at some of the people he was appointing and you said, listen, you better take another look. That's right, take another like look. I think maybe you yeah. were more right or, okay, yeah. You yeah. Know, I, it, I, yeah. I was more in touch with some of the students who had been on the Harvard campus yeah. when uh -huh. Obama was there. Yeah. Uh -huh. And listening at them online and some of them in conversation right. about what had happened with black students. And that, right. for me, is really a measurement of where America is. Okay. When I want to know what's to begin to talk conceptually about what's happening in this country. I kind of yeah. see mm -hmm. the issue of race wrapped around all of these other piles of issues. I don't see how we can have. get around yeah. it. It's still there. Yeah. It's there on a world scale. Isn't yeah, it? and yeah. he was a man talking about post-race. Po po right, I don't right. know where he yeah, was. Right, it must have yeah, been yeah. on Mars and right. certainly on the moon. That's too yeah, close. Right, right. Um, but to begin to talk about a post-racial peace and then right. to look at the man himself. Yeah. You no, know, it's yeah. one thing to scream yeah. that I'm black. I am yeah. black. I'm yeah. a, okay, folk, I'm black. Um, yeah. That's pretty obvious. Yeah. And it's obvious in the case of Obama. Yeah. But what does black mean? Yeah, right. Because right. black is not a color. Yeah. Right. So when you go to talking about being black, you yeah. got to really define yourself based on the historic context. And that's a pretty black history, Ooh. by and large, is it that's not? Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Horrible. That's right. And it's a condition that's held through a lot of human history. There have been slaves mm -hmm. or serfs yes. or down uh, conquered people or co-opted people yes. throughout almost all of human history. We haven't had really anything like the elemental justice that you and I would want to see for all. That's correct. And the ecology. That's correct. That the times right. call for. That's correct. And to look at the genocide. Yeah. And so we, we looked at the genocide yeah. across history and look at the genocide of this African experience in America now. Okay, yeah. Where yeah. you're talking about locking away the childbearing years behind yeah. bars. Yeah, yeah. Where you look at young women who are having abortion, abortion, abortion. Yeah. And not that I'm opposed to abortion. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I'm pro common sense as well. Yeah, right. Uh, but what does that do in terms of a group of people defined right. as black. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. A misdefined as African American. Stop and frisk. Yeah. Stop and frisk. Black I mean, and brown. Uh, yeah. but we yeah. know that there that we that we recently discovered in California mm. that there have been sterilization pro sterilization programs in prison. M you match that with the sterilization programs that yeah. begun in the 30s coming forward. Right. You look at the disease rate mm. for black. Mm. Every single negative except 
for Wall Street. Uh -huh. When it's in black, we're happy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So all of the negatives that are uh, that are associated now with, uh -huh. with, with black, yeah. and whether those blacks be Haitians or Dominicans or people from the, the, the from Brazil or wherever in the uh -huh. Western world, yeah, uh, the indigenous people mm -hmm. who we call red, uh -huh. but treat like black. Oh them, yeah, uh, it was like a, a few of them that's left. It was a, it was, it was a. <laughs> so black never got that treatment. It was a horrible Holocaust. Yeah, it was a horrible. Yeah, Holocaust. the Holocaust for us is now, they needed they needed workers. Yeah. Right. But as a brother said, you know, we have yeah. come to a point where the African in America has to make a choice. Yeah. And you're talking now. That's talking about right now. Yeah, this right, brother's okay. writing yeah. Samuel Yet writing in the late 1960s. Right. His work, the choice. Who? Samuel Yet. Okay. Y e t t e. I okay. believe Yet is going on now. He was a very popular, yeah, very radical uh, writer, but great researcher. Okay. And yeah. what he was doing, based on his serious study of looking mm. at the issues of of the African people who'd mm. come down, the descendants of slavery in the yeah. United States, yeah. was we'd come through some periods, yeah. but we were no longer really needed. Uh -huh. That workforce was no longer needed. Uh -huh. The kind of labor that yeah, you needed right, down right. through coming into the early 60s. Come the cotton gin, come yeah. the sugar mill. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. It was no yeah. longer needed. Right. So even the work of the force that had come north uh -huh. to, to serve as scavengers <laughs> against the unions, yeah. uh, that yeah, workforce right. wasn't no longer needed either. The big migration. That's yeah, right. So yeah. when you began then to look at yet study, Mm -hmm. And it's a critical study. And I y e t t y e t t e. Okay. Samuel Yet. Thank you. Yeah. The choice. Yeah. Assimilate, or be annihilated. Yeah. Assimilate or annihilate. Yeah. That's correct. That's the thing. That's the thing that we have writ large. Well, wait a minute. That's the thing. We re okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's, I was it's impossible to I, I was assimilate. Like, we it, have, might, we it might be comparable to the whole human condition. Being yes. Just we, a at, at, some, color. It's, at some point, yeah. the African could try to assimilate, yeah. and some will. So we yeah. got a middle class yeah. burden. We so. know that that wasn't accepted, yeah. so it's got banged back down right. with the mortgage crisis, the yeah. recent mortgage crisis, yeah. and slapped back in the dirt. Yeah. With the war now on the public sector unions in the United States, yeah, right. where most Africans and Browns are located. Yeah, right. So the black and Browns in these unions. Yeah, right, right. So that's a war on these unions. Mm, yeah. And we look at Detroit, that's yeah. why. Yeah. Now fully into bankruptcy. Yeah, yeah. And what are they going after? Mm. To to talk about correcting a set of economic conditions, yeah. you're going after the pension funds of Damn the public man. sector workers. And let's get rid of all that food stamp stuff. Uh, that uh, that's yeah. that's yeah. the other side of yeah, it. Right. I mean, that's that's yeah. the side that Obama really has been struggling with. I'll give him credit for that. Yeah, okay. Hasn't been a big struggle, but he's been struggling. Yeah, he's and that is the cutting of. The lower sector. Anything that helps the least. The, the economy of this work. Yeah. And that's everybody. And yeah. actually, that's the big everybody. Group there. Yeah, right. And the big group. We mm. may be the big population group uh -huh. in terms of talking about if you looked at it percentage wise. Right. But the right. big group is white. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. This is a property yeah, sector a lot of that is not. From that white that, that, that's right. That are in there. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah. when you begin to look at who really gets the biggest checks, I mm. mean, gets the checks, the mm. same size checks, yeah. you'll see that it's a large portion of, of the white poor, who also increased when you began to knock on the public sector yeah. worker. Right, right. So we've got to begin to, 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 to look at the Obama piece uh -huh. and its influence, because this was a man that the world was so happy. Oh, God, the world God. was so happy. Oh, People were yeah, calling me from Chicago, yeah, saying, when cousin called yeah. and said, oh, Cole Lee, yeah. Cole Lee, I am so happy. Yeah. I said, I know. So He said, you I. felt that civil rights movement in <laughs> <and> look. It <laughs> got right. you. Oh, look what yeah. it got you. I, said, yeah, and he, he I, I cautioned it. him. I said, look, I, we did that, that civil rights yeah, movement. Right. But I don't know that this is what yeah. we were looking for. Well, yeah, but and he was such an order, and he was such a, he was such an intellect, and he was so strong, and he was so positive and everything yeah, like he that. Was, he it was. just seemed like that. It was a chance we we're going to have all kinds of change. But I think even uh, there, uh, uh, what, uh, you, you know, when he gave that talk, uh, what's that park, Clark Park, or the place in Chicago that night? He said it's going to be tough. Yeah, he did. You say know, he did be say tough. that, and yeah. he could Soldier see Soldier's Field. Yeah, he, he said, yeah, or uh, right there in Chicago and everything. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, uh, they were there, and there were tears of joy oh, and all that sort of thing. Oh, people were so happy. But I mean, was it was a jubilant and moment. He, and then he came right up, and he put all this stuff into the first couple of years. He had Rahm Emanuel. You were a little upset with that, oh, if I remember, God, yeah. and, and the pretty pick. Up. 
But uh, he came up against that health care thing. And he put his whole time. But he started out yeah. stripping away his own accumulated power. Yeah. When he said that I am going to continue the war in Afghanistan. Yeah. Everybody was in shock mm -hmm. because he said that he would withdraw yeah. troops. Yeah. yeah, He did say he would withdraw from Iraq, but we still haven't gotten them all out of there. No, no, no but he Instead, did. we're he expanding. Did. He came yeah. in, there were 60 nations in which we had troops on the ground. Yeah. Now we have over 100 nations. Is that a fact? That's Is that a fact. A fact? That's well, a fact that I think that's 102. That's not just a little contingent, but that's, no. uh, that's a real force. Well, right? we have, you know, I'm sure yeah. they're contingent forces, yeah. but those yeah. are forces on the ground. Yeah, right. We still yeah. have AFCOM in Africa, mm -hmm. which has now been yeah. buffered by the invasion uh -huh. of Libya and yeah. sending that whole mad stream of right. desert folk who yeah. You know, we've been struggling against other issues of themselves for a yeah. long time, arming them with all kinds of major weapons, sending them south, and now sending France in to, we talk about now, in, 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 into, yeah. uh, into, into Africa, yeah, getting further yeah. France already invading, yeah. and people said, oh, come save us, yeah, come save yeah. us, you know. It looks like neocolonialism to it's, me, it's, doesn't it? It, it looks like, it looks like colonialism yeah. to me. Colon, plain old colonial. Yeah, right. it looked like colonial. So it's a recolonizing, yeah, yeah, the same old thing. Yeah. You come in with the weapons and the power, then you bring the, sh the preachers and the sugar. Yeah, the preachers and the sugar. And the sugar. The you sugar. get a kid the candy. Okay, the candy. candy. Oh, I the candy can, you know? That's the thing, right? That's, a, that's the thing that's uh, there. But he mean, yeah, but he was up against it. Yeah, anyway, so. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I'll say this. Yeah, yeah, I think it's very important for me to say it. I think there comes a point when we have to ourselves step back, those uh -huh. of us who are on the, in, in quotes, the left side, yeah, and right. take a look at the actual politics of where we are now in terms of this man's, this man's legacy building years, because this is his right. legacy building years, yeah. and yeah. his struggle against a very bitter, negative force of Republicans. It's amazing. What it they, is yeah, frightening it, what these it's people are. Neanderthalish. Oh. You know? I mean, it's really, really awful. I don't know the Neanderthal. I think we get oh. Neanderthals are bad. <laughs> 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 no. These folk, I think, are modern demons. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I'm glad he got that thing through. I hate to say that about another human being. I, I'm, gla I'm glad he got that thing through the Senate to get it down to 52 instead of 60 for a guest on the filler. But that's something that's something fighting something, back. Something, something. But they've back. been able to be so. Uh, there was party things and that uh, the house is so uh, making it impossible for anything to be done. And making it known they're going to make it impossible. Yeah, this is yeah. So, so that their assumption is that the American people are really not thinkers. That's what James Baldwin said, the nation of sheep. Yeah. Baldwin, the writer, yeah, yeah, writing sure, to the yeah, New York sure. Times yeah, and yeah. the yeah. and yeah. Back in '68, yeah. during the Vietnam War, yeah. this is what they're saying. Yeah. I mean, th that's uh, this is the way they act. As if the American people are so weak. Yeah so weak yeah. that we are unable to get up out of a set of historic conditions in which were imposed on us with slavery yeah. and the invasion of this, this, this land. Well, the slavery, is slavery a thing that's held throughout the whole human experience? Well, since civilization, we don't know back in the d midst of history, but there's always been essentially a sort of... Uh, a serf class. Sla a serf, a that's serf the class, term. Yeah. There was, because yeah, the lords slavery is not the same as what we went through. Right. Because, you know, I, I used to say, if it doesn't look like it, walk like it, talk like it, or taste like it, it ain't the same thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, because you, as an African slave, could move up and even be king or chief. Mm -hmm. You, you could run the place. Where? In Africa? Anywhere in Africa. So in yeah. Where you were a slave. Now, okay. you could not do, so you, at one part, it's, yeah. the, it's the Joseph story, I believe. Joseph is the, is the, was a philosophical character from the Jews who comes and his brother sells him and he uh -huh. finally winds up many years his pretty coat and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. He winds up uh, being, you know, an administrator. Uh huh. Uh huh. So he moves from the serf yeah. slave class and he can move up. That is traditional to Africa. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that in most slave societies. Yeah. You are slave. Your children are slaves. Your children are not slaves because you're a slave. Yeah. Not in a traditional African culture. No, no, no. So, so, so that's so. I'm saying that that yeah, we have to also begin to measure the difference. We say slavery. Yeah, yeah. Don't see what you see in the USA, which uh. are stamps called the peculiar institution historian stamps. Yeah. See something very different than that. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, because you got to see that these. This is a. 
This 600 years yeah. of Western slavery yeah. is something that we have not really seen, not even in Rome. I think you make a case for being worse in North America than almost anywhere else. It was. I'm not sure. It, it was worse it's here it's than anywhere in, in terms of States. absolutely abolishing identity and all these kinds yes, of things, yes. uh, consciously and directly and in no holds barred. The, that that, that no. the full thing was to destroy the human. Yeah, right. So no right to language. No, right. Yeah, no right to religion, mm -hmm. the two basic things that generally hold people together. Yeah, things that give you a sense beliefs. of identity. Yes, that's right. They had Santeria they keep in Cuba and things like that. There were some Yoruba things, some of the yeah, things that were, yeah. but that was all but just ruthlessly But in cut the up. United States, no. it, it was very clear, nothing. Mm -hmm. I always laugh and say, my name is Coley. <laughs> And no. it spelled C O L I E initially. Yeah. My mother got it, was forced to have to change it. Yeah. So they looked at that yeah. and they thought that was French. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to change it to C O L I E. I don't know how my uncle Mahafa and yeah. those folk got through. Yeah, yeah, right. And <laughs> I looked right. at these little, these yeah. little you know, these little yeah. sweet names. And yeah. And my family's loaded with them. Yeah, They're right. African names, traditional African names at that. And you were born into Mizip. In Mississippi. Down deep south. In Mississippi. Deep where south. Right where the, the, with the coders. Yeah, yeah, right. They're all over. Mm. But we, they thought we were either Italian. Uh -huh. and, they, and the C-O-L-I-A actually yeah. is one of the popular is it, Italian is it? I didn't yes, know. It yeah, right. I didn't know. So it's really very, very popular. So mm. that we, got, we got away. Yeah, so right. So the C-O-L-I-A yeah. in, 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 in Senegal. Yeah, um, yeah. Among one of its major tribes, yeah. that C O L I A is a camel scrub. <laughs> a camel scrub? A camel for scrubbing your camel. Oh, a camel, <laughs> oh, a camel scrub. You the camel oh, with, the, with the colia. Boy, you did <laughs> some research on your name. I got to look up Harold, but I don't know if I dare, you know. <laughs> look it up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, right. Because uh, you, yeah. make, you make you. Your no, but it was so nasty and everything. And then, what, even, even then, when, you know, John Brown, and that whole I abolitionist know. thing that happened, all of that. And then even then there were people that were, uh, you know, being uh, a prejudice. The prejudice ran so deep and it was so nasty and it was so, uh, so ingrained. And it was such a huge thing. When you were young, you were born into a different kind. A I mean, world. it was a whole My grandchildren look at me and say, huh? My How in the hell did we get, right. we, the only real art form that we've ever really gotten new out of America was jazz and everything, and it all came out of uh, that travail. Well, we got out of New Orleans, we out got, of we, gospel, you know, out of gospel uh, and blues and spirituals. Yeah, blues, but we also yeah. got that other territory. That's why I keep referring to poor whites. Yeah. That nobody talks about Appalachia. Appalachia, Because Appalachia, yeah. just yeah. like the African experience, yeah. will give us folk music. From the European side. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's beautiful that's true. music. Well, Sometimes they sound like they're the same and yeah. blend. That's yeah. because you find it. That is true. Cultures. That is true. Yeah. But that those two very mm. oppressed group of people, mm -hmm. out mm. of their oppression, mm -hmm. gave us the expression of that deep. Is there something to you said for the fact that the creative thing can a real creative things in a new way can only come out of oppression? I hope not. Do you think? Well, is that the but case? But as I we've seen it. <laughs> it seems all the artists starve and the poets and the people of you know, major concern, there's no place for them. It's yes. all just a matter of, you know, people that are in business and that kind of stuff. But well, Dr. King said an American yeah. needed to re re redefine her values. Yes, in 1966, indeed. I said, did, this yeah. let him give that speech to a small group of yeah. us in Chicago. And remember the speech he gave in 60? Were you at Riverside when he did that? 67 no, we were here in town, now? yes, but yeah. I was at 28 and 6. Oh. We were the organizers. Oh, you were the organizers yeah. of others. You've been organizing since uh, you were a little tight, right? Yeah. right? Since 59, yeah. way back. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. You got involved first with who? Who was it? You NAACP. The National I, yeah. Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is itself now under the, under the hatchet. I was, yeah, they were all black folk are coming in and HP left and right and uh, so so are others. Yeah. It has had a it, it's had a very how should I put it? Checkered? No. Uh, I don't even want to call it checkered. Yeah. It's had an evolutionary history that is right. uh at points taken it to some of the worst parts of the American experience of really? being under the thumb of Jag Hoover. Oh yeah. Co and Co uh, that's Pro right. So yeah. they played pressure on many, many groups and destroyed many, many groups. Uh -huh. uh, if we look at the North Carolina, uh, the women there in uh, the Winston Salem, North Carolina, they had one yeah. of the largest NACP chapters in the country at uh -huh. that point. Uh -huh. 
they were a union. Yeah. They're the one that gives us that, give us that song, We Shall mm -hmm. Overcome. Yeah. Those are the women that, that Pete Seeger will take that song from as uh -huh. he comes toward uh, the youth who are demonstrating in the Deep South. And you were also a woman. Uh, yeah. So the women have been treated rather badly in many ways of thinking, too. So you had a double, you had a double duty. You were a black woman <laughs> in Majib. <laughs> I don't know how in the heck you pulled it off, girl, but I tell you, that's a heavy I weight. I had a heavy yeah. weight, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and look at you. And eight brothers. <laughs> yeah. Eight brothers. And scores yeah. of male uh, cousins. Uh, who uh, were willing, we were willing to go to Jordan. Uh, now, wait a minute now. Uh, I'm involved with the girls. Boy, you really did fight yeah. against the tide. Oh, there yeah, was a lot of force around you that you had to fight again. I, I felt Even within strong, the with immediate with context of your family and that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, no, no. I didn't have a I don't mean to pry. I had a very strong. My father was a feminist in many ways. Was he? God bless yeah, him. Not yeah. A, not, yeah. Not 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 gay folk. Yeah. But a feminist. And, yeah. Right. And would not assault anybody gay. Yeah. That could jump you if you of did. Of course. Yeah. But growing up in a house with two feminists. Yeah. A mother who was, you know, really outspoken, strong, resilient. Uh, right. Both of them created. They right. invented what we call recycling. Uh, uh, really? <laughs> oh yeah. You know. Everything seriously, else. I mean, I mean yeah. no, they didn't really invent it. But no, 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 I mean, but they really pursued it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, no, they were no, sensitive about to that. Oh, you that's advanced yeah, curve. So, but all of their yeah. children work, and you could always, if you needed some money, go to those two old folk. One yeah. of them had three years, one of them had eighth grade education. It could have taught, but the yeah. state would not give her her, her diploma because yeah. she lost the first one. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. she was irresponsible for losing the first one. Yeah, um, but those two old folk, yeah, were of the 30s generation, uh, they married yeah. in 1930. Wow, yeah. Uh -huh. She was yeah. 19 and uh, he was 22. I'll be darned, yeah. So they had dollar and fifty cents that they set aside. They would hide it, one from the other. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. other week so they wouldn't spend it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you began to see this this, 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 this emphasis on saving. She yeah. lost all of her penny stock. Uh -huh. But they were both born in, the, what I'm going to say, in the woods. Yeah. Hines County, which houses Jackson, but yeah. they're both 20 plus miles from yeah. Jackson. At a time when... Uh, the racism which I it, saw it's, yeah, which is nothing like theirs. They were in the cotton fields in 1927 after the the flood that hit, and she had uh, been out there with her with her mother. Uh, this folks, she got married, and white people were standing there talking work. about talking about how yeah. they were going to put them back to them, miss yeah, them, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. how they were going to return them back to slavery. Uh, so I mean, they went, <laughs> about, they went through. <laughs> what this mean? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> what, what the, that? The What's immediacy. That? Uh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> right. My mother's yeah. father, of course, yeah. was a tr uh, was a true revolutionary, yeah. a shooting yeah. revolutionary. She was. Uh, he was a, true, a shooting revol uh, revolutionary. Really? Yeah. He didn't play. So there was uh, there was a real uh, get up and go. And Never a get up and go. A sense on both sides to. They bought the notion that black folk had been forced in a s into an in, in, in immoral s standard. Uh -huh. They bought uh -huh. that notion. Yeah, well, it, so it, it, was, it was the work, of yeah. the, you know, all the stuff, you know, the yeah. rape of the women constantly, yeah. the abuse of the children, the rape of the men, all of this yeah. junk yeah. that they had to go through in yeah. slavery right, right. Uh, was something that people were working to un undo, yeah, to unravel. Right. Uh, so they, 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 they bought into that and they were working to create a new African, right. a brand new right. African. Right, 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 right. Uh, but in the tradition of Marcus Garvey, who mm. talked about his folk, you know, the Negro mm. First yeah. Movement. Right, 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 right. So yeah. they were, th it was that group, that group who believed in progress. Yeah, right. Um, even though my grandfather was, was opposed to anything European wise in education, he'd tell yeah. you that. Educated fools. Yeah, a good right. man's a damn fool if you get that education. Got a wise man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to get yeah. your own. It's true. It's you true must fact. get your own. Yeah, right. right. So they were into getting their uh -huh. own, but also getting the best they could yeah. of what there was to be offered them in the American European experience. And you picked it up at a young age, they think, and because you were right in on the get go of everything. It seems to me you were young. Relatively, when it really got going, and then it w turned into something major, 65, 66, and all yeah, of that. Yeah, I grew up in the cooperative schools. Uh, uh, uh -huh. You know, they were the old uh, Rosenwald schools. I don't know. If I, was Rosenwald was, a, I think he's one of the owners of Sears Roebuck. Uh -huh. um, yeah. But what he did was fund uh, schools of, of blacks in segregated southern areas. And Mississippi had wow. a goodly numbers. There were four in Hines County where... Where I'm, I'm from. Really? They and were, they were dotted around to the south? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. He would go in and. And it differed and from people the. People were paid. For example, yeah. I, I went to my first school, was a school built right after slavery because I was in a, 
we, we moved into a free Negro area. Yeah, okay. And so New Hope, which is my first school, yeah, little white building, you yeah. know, with the with the big two, three big, two huge rooms and one small. <laughs> Did they set it up different than the normal uh, pattern of education at the time? These schools that were set they up. They were set up cooperatively, so Co that you all we, we might have three or four classes, mm -hmm. different classes in one room, meaning different level classes. Yeah, right, right, so right. So that my first through second grades were all in one room. Mm -hmm. uh, but then by the time I got ready for third grade, for some reason, I guess the building had been condemned. I, could, I never figured out what it seemed, you know, as a child, it seemed great to me. Right. But then we had to go to the ch ch churches would house our, uh, our classes. Okay, yeah, so right. The churches were always right. important. Right, so yeah. the third grade may be one place, the fourth mm. grade someplace, the yeah. fifth and sixth someplace else. Yeah. Uh, but we started out with something called, uh, uh, we didn't have pre-K, we had uh, pre-prima. Pre-primer. Pre pre, it sounds yeah. very British, doesn't it? Pre yeah, it does sound pre 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 primer. Pre you got So pre-primer pre and then uh, prima. Yeah. And <laughs> a little red monkey called Winky was our first book. Oh, really? So the colors on there, of course. <laughs> we would laugh and say, yeah. we got bigger words, because we've seen the white folks think a new book, right? Uh -huh. We got bigger words. We got M-O-N-K-E-Y. <laughs> 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 they got wrong. Uh, you uh, <laughs> So it was a camaraderie among y'all and against a common foe and that kind of and it, can you get strength poverty you can like get you strength can. you can get strength within a position where you've got a common thing and then you got camaraderie. You can get strength that gives you a sense of identity and purpose that gives you a great leg up in terms of being yeah, able to I, function. I, I got well, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And yeah. I got understanding in this yeah. environment, Harold. Mm. I started school with pre prem I was six. Yeah. And, you know, mother would braid the long braids, yeah, and right. I'd have to go to school with I'd have these pretty bows on yeah, both sides, right, and right. She, she, she made girls' clothes that were gorgeous, and I'd have right. all these fancy fit dresses. Tailored stuff, This is when huh? women yeah. were wearing, the, yeah. your girls were wearing the little, the, the little uh, fluffed on the skirts that you starched and da-da-da, so we'd be sticking yeah. on out. Yeah. And matching <laughs> socks, and, and always, you know, had on my, my had the little Oxford, and it was always polished, and white mm. was white, and yeah. the brown was brown, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But when those kids would see me, yeah. first of all, they called me Black Indian. I yeah. never could figure Black that one Indian. out. I well, think it was a long hair, but there mm. were a lot of girls with long hair, so I never quite figured it out. Yeah. But uh -huh. we talked different, and we did have a different accent. Uh -huh. There's in Mississippi about five regional uh, African accents. I didn't know that. We have Af one of the from African From background? Africa, yeah. Really? And Your so we, and we are, or what? Or what, what I'm not, be? Uh, Congo yeah. certainly is there. Congo, really. Okay, uh, yeah. Because there are all That's the Egyptian names on I'm going to assume that the Egyptian... There was a carrier of some of the traditions from the various places in Africa yeah, where that's people that, had come that's from. That's how we yeah. built the South. Okay, yeah. Okay. The South was built that, by black that's folk. That's interesting. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, good uh, enough. Uh, yeah, fair they, enough. They, they may lie yeah. and say that we did not architecture it too, but that's yeah. a lie. Yeah, right, right. Uh, I always say, you know, where does cotton grow? Yeah. <laughs> don't go in Paris. That's true. Uh, anyway, that's you know, the sugar. The, the sugar. sugar and, and, the and, and, sugar was Coffee. Yeah. Tea. Yeah. You could have had tea in Europe, but didn't really have it. So no, this, it this stuff is out of the African traditions of yeah. people that they had to go to the and now. the indigenous people that they located that, that was from which the, this thing is planted. Yeah. yeah, and a mastermind of Europeans who used their own uh, Scots, uh, Irish, the Irish word he had written was really the Scots, the Welsh, and the Germans in, yeah. the, er in, 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 uh, in the early days. Yeah. And then the, the, the Irish would be on in, and the Italians and others would follow. Uh -huh. But they used those groups and the pain of those groups. Uh -huh. You know, somebody picked you up, threw you off on the ship, and you drop you yeah, off. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, you yeah, want yeah. is a young woman told me recently, I was talking with a young mm. Dominican woman. Mm. And I was trying to talk with her about the conditions and da da da. So yeah. she said, yeah, I really don't care. She didn't mean she didn't care. Now, she's yeah. a loving young woman. Yeah. She said, but if you'd seen what I had, we, I didn't know we didn't eat sometimes, we didn't do this. She Where's she from? The Dominican Republic. But uh, by the yeah, time she okay. explained to yeah, me the, right. yeah. the impoverished yeah. condition, how yeah. did yeah. she come out? Yeah. I was going to story I was getting ready to tell you. I reflected back on my childhood. Right, right, right. And the serious right. poverty. And what would we have done? Uh huh. What would my parent have done? Uh huh if it had come to that, mm -hmm. to save the lives of their children. Yeah. So right. she picked up to save her life, yes. to look mm -hmm. for something different, a better way. Same uh -huh. thing for the Europeans. They came in looking for something yeah. different. Yeah. So then you bow to the power. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody got to save somebody sometime. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
you really don't say, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you're forced into these kind of men and women. Yeah, I mean it's the same stuff. Children and parents. You think we're ever gonna get out of it? Can you look ahead? Uh, are we are we at a point where we have a capability to get a kind of world that is really worthy of one that's good for everybody? And the ancient, you know, uh, advice to from all our wisdom schools: take care of the least among you, and they got a world that's really just and so forth. I is that an impossible I live, I live on dream? Simple understanding: what okay. goes up must come, come down. down. That's one. Okay. Okay. Two, don't let it fall on you. Okay. Three, okay. that we make the world in which we live. Okay. Yeah, that's a biggie. Yeah. And by the we, you mean the, the people. people. The, the people, people writ large. So yeah. the, the problem has been yeah. because they created the divisions among us at the start. They divide and conquer, do right. they not? Yeah. And now, mm. because those divisions were created, the Europeans who came in, even though they were being beat and enslaved and everything else, they uh, they did the master's work on me. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. did the work that created what? The excess capital. Yeah, the to surplus. Be able to, yeah. yeah, to be able yeah. to build and do whatever yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, get the capital. Because yeah. my work was free. Uh-huh, yeah. But uh, the sister said after slavery, yeah. slavery made us strong. All right. Well, I think that's I don't think I slavery really made us strong, mm -hmm. but what they're really saying is is that we had to make way out of no way. Right. So we learn through that all kinds of skills and, uh -huh. and whatever, including mental and right, skills right, right, for right. those whose minds survive. But they're still catching hell it's in cities up north. And everywhere somewhere. we're catching hell. Yeah, hell it, is, re is, is restarted. Yeah. But that is a part of the coming down. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the coming down. Yeah. Right. And the, we, we, we talked about the invention in 2008 what goes with the new up president. must come, come down. down. Oh, that's an ironclad law. And now re I'm re referring to the USA. Okay, the good. The USA cannot address uh -huh. the need for a new order. The need not only for a new order, but first of all, a new set of values. Okay, thank you. The new set of values that's right. precede that. Yeah, based and that on, comes based based on a, a new economic order. Right, okay, good. It yeah. has to be. Mm -hmm. and you Seems like that way to me, too, don't you Whether you, you think? like it or not is yeah. not the question. Yeah, it's just uh, it it's has time has come. It's time has come for an alteration. Yeah, because it's humans will push to survive. Uh huh, okay. And now it's all us humans. It's yeah. white, black, brown, red, and yellow. We all yeah. now begin to understand. We're all in one boat in a certain sense because the weapons can destroy us all. Amen. Since about 1970. Say amen, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so that's brand new. The weapons are destroying us all. Yeah. Well, we, we now but we I, mean, I mean in a No, I mean in the, in, the, in the big boom uh, sense. Uh, when we look at what's happening with Japan, it's scary. You mean over these islands there no, with China? Over those, or no, that's another no. set of things. Yeah, that's a little uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thing in the news I'm just now dealing with Fukushima. Yeah, okay. All oh, right? okay, when yeah. we look at Fukushima, yeah. when we look at Philippines, uh -huh. when we just, go, we just go across the last... 20 years looking at New Orleans, just right. looking at yeah, New York. Katrina, yeah, New York. New York, yeah. I mean. That's global warming, yeah. Uh, that's, so that's, that's a whole that's bunch a of ecological along, things. Along so with your greens are concerned with. But every yeah. time something happens, there's mm. more nuclear waste. We mm. find that somebody stole some kind of a nuclear device yeah. down in New Mexi in Mexico City. Yeah, uh -huh. Had that yesterday. Uh -huh. And that they've been exposed to it probably. Yeah. I mean, you began to look at the unraveling. That's yeah. the coming down. Uh, the unraveling of our system? Of the, system of the system and all of the gadgetry and gimmicks and schemes it used to develop itself. Now, is there, we, we, there, been, there was a system called slavery, and there was a, a, a movement, the abolition of John Brown, and all brought, it down. brought it down, but then the society went on. And are we coming to a time but where brought the it down, end of the injustice that underpins right. it is uh, at hand as well as the ability to reify or reestablish or uh, relate to the outdated thoughts and institutions that we've inherited out of history. A time of really qualitative transformation is in the offing equally to that of uh, the, the attempts to reify the old. If we can look with it, you would take Qaddafi's Qaddafi, I thought, was really ahead of yeah, the curve. Yeah. Very ahead of the curve. Yeah. We can take his philosophy yes. of uh, Partners and not workers, mm. kind of, that kind of thinking. Mm. And the young people, eco-socialist 
movement, mm -hmm. Echo Socialist Horizons. Yeah, e Echo, so Echo Socialist yeah, right, Horizons. Right, I better okay. bring them on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have Quincy Saul. Who that is? Who? Quincy, who? Young Quincy Saul is one of their leading people. Thank you. Put me in touch. You know Joel Covell. Okay, but, yeah. But, but the yeah. young people that yeah. have been building this movement to try and, 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 and re-engage uh -huh. the environment. Right, right. Yeah, and in the balance against the entire environment, and you can't do it without ending the balance against each other. Yeah, yeah. So they begin including the thing. Uh, the drug thing is something oh that's. Lord, yes. I think that's beginning to happen in a way that's encouraging. That's one thing mm -hmm. where they're beginning to question the industrial prison system, yes. and that's based upon fooling around with uh, laws against pot and so forth, which is really absurd. Filling the prisons with black and brown young men. Yeah, you need workers. It's you need workers, but now those workers, I saw a show a couple of weeks ago where they were talking about those workers who are now getting patents. The workers in the prison? In the prisons. We knew that by 1999, by 1990, when the age of, uh, the industrial age was supposed to come to a close, mm -hmm. that the prisoners, 99,000, would be replacing workers uh, in the technical areas on the regular workers outside of prisons. Oh, I entirely, okay. In the, in the, in the, that, that's yeah. that we've known. Okay. But what we have not addressed is who is in prison. Yeah. They have been taking young people out and using them for military missions. Right. Young that's people with a certain set of skills and talents. Mm. All right. mean, and now you're talking about people going into the military, you're talking they're about? They're going in there and pulling them out of the jails or whatever they've done out of the prisons, and they're taking them into the military. Well, that's where they're going. The only opportunity they have maybe is to get in the military for the young well, people they are, they're, they're not using them. Uh, you've right. got a certain set of skills. So yeah. you've got a unique set of skills of being able to get through lines or whatever. Yeah, right. They go in prison and pull you out. you got 99 years in a day for killing 50 people, but that doesn't matter. They're going to pull you out of there. That's really? happening now. Is that happening? That's, that's happening. new to me. I That's didn't new. We, 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 I need to get it's some a if So it's a recruitment for the military. Yeah, right. It's a recruitment yeah. for Okay, I didn't realize but now that. Now what they've they, they, been exposed, yeah. and they're trying to make it look good, yeah. is that, you know, well, they can come in here, and the young people are saying, you know, I, I, I've invented this, I've got the skills to do this, that, and mm -hmm. the other, and I've got the time to work on it. And uh -huh. when I get out, uh -huh. Yeah. You're gonna get out, son. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. forty years from now, yeah, you won't be, you know, pleased. Yeah. Uh -huh. So mm, it's exposing the fact that Wall Street now has a new outlet. Yeah. Now we suspected it for years in my family because we had a cousin who was an artist who did great artwork. Okay. And his artwork was just moving out all over the place. You know, these little pictures hanging on the wall and da da da. Yeah. He didn't get anything. Uh, he he did. He was an apartment in Mississippi prison. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And this was in the fifties and sixties. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, we see this now, though, clearer when yeah. you're dealing with these young people who got technical skills. Well, there's a whole youth go thing coming along all around the information stuff. Yeah, all the young people, coming this up. pipeline, the prison movement that young people have been struggling against, and New York colleges especially are now heavily involved in organizing yeah. around. Uh. Uh, destroying that that pipeline to prison. Yeah, um, yeah, well, good. I mean, they are. Yeah, good. So, yeah. But we oh. need to look at what's happening. When you just happen to mention the. Prison. Well, you're giving me something that a little piece of good information or good a uh, good omens, perhaps. Yes. Or something. So, or what, so what, what, what I'm saying is, is that really the, the, the wonderful young people, they are working politically. They're working. Yeah. Through social movements. Yeah. And they're working through cultural movements and they're combining them into one good okay so they even have farms now that they've said when I one out one farm up out from troy new york is it coming out of the green sense because that's it's going to be that's coming strong now isn't it yeah they're not the green party but they no, are not, no the but the sense. idea of the college yes, and they were yes, part of yes, a larger yes, order sure. is getting across so sure. that's important sure and that's saying let's look at you all represent that in the green looking at indigenous culture yeah right right Okay. And the way in which they structure and giving credence to and life That's right. itself, and they're yeah. looking at African traditional right. cultures because these traditional cultures, uh, quite as it's kept, yeah. were sufficient in organizing, uh, in, in, or in organizing themselves and being able to take care of themselves right. and understanding that Mother Nature is not kind. Uh, right. So you don't expect to have a great farm every year, but yeah. great crop every year. Right. Right. You might right. have the, the, the locusts might come. That does happen. Yeah. You know, right, these, yeah. So you, yeah. you 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 organize in a way that you always got to have your plan in place. Right, right, right. One, you, you can't stay on the land. You've got to move off of a piece of land, let uh, it heal. Yeah. So all of these things, if you look at traditional cultures, they do. So you look at the hoppy, we yeah. can go out in the desert and in the sand grow corn. 
Is that and a fact? beans, yes, they, they do. They did do it, didn't they? They are, they're doing it, they're still there, they're doing it, yes. Yeah. And so they survived. Yeah, right. But all of these other surpluses at urbanism, mm -hmm. and this new madness we got that we need money, money, uh, money, uh. money, money. That money. seems to be the only thing it's that the, uh, the, the, uh, the established culture seems to understand as having any meaning at all, yeah. is money. It motivates practically all human behavior, or would, if according to their lights. Because yeah. everything can be understood that way. It's over. Well, most of us are, are looking for the money. Well, because one has to, in a certain sense, they force it, but then yeah, also they encourage it, and they have it being <coughs> they have it being written into the laws of nature. Right. But we we're now at the point. We you know in the old days you said, "Well, I need a house, and 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 I'm gonna need to be able to have food and some land, or whatever." And these were basics. And when I get that, that's fine. Mm. My parent would have been satisfied that with that. My grandparents satisfied with that. Well, yeah. But now we're in uh, a new era. That's yeah. not enough. You got to have a bigger house, so you got to move every five years. Well, okay. You know, uh, or get some big, huge mansion that is so elaborate, the whole world comes and smiles at it. I think it would be nice if we could get something where everybody had what they reasonably wanted or needed. Or needed. If yes. we could, if instead we needed, of. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're basing all of these premises upon scarcity of a condition which was real. But we may be coming, the adverse side of the destructive scenario of all the weapon system, we may have an ability latent. It's not real, but it's a capability of providing for everyone and the ecology through good design mm -hmm. that is equally existentially new in terms of being able to maybe get to a point that jump up time, jubilee time, the time when there could be a liberation of the whole order that's been the promise of so much of the human history, if you understand what I mean. Maybe well, we'll leave the gold in hell. Uh, 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 we can prepare each of us our little grave. Well, I have a friend who says you either, we either can grow up or blow up. Amen. And there's a lot of forces. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and it's, it's a new thing since those weapons became, as they are in the hands of these people, who seem to only be relating to the reified, you know, reestablishment of the outdated institutional assumptions. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. And you couple that with the children who now have the drones. Children have drones, yeah. yeah. You, you can get a drone. So anybody go get some drones. <laughs> 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 a drone, like a cigarette. Uh, well, I don't know, see the kid in the store uh, no, right. trying try to get the, the, the owner to sell him a, what do they call it? They didn't call it a butt. They want one, one, one cigarette, right? So you see that? Yeah. Oh. Give me a so and so man. I and forget you know, what they call I, it. Yeah. A soldier. I, 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 or I was no. as a yeah. you know as a former oh. well. smoker for years. Yeah. I see them up and then the man's opening up the pack and I'm first of all checking out the age. Yeah. And then <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Hey, I'm Lucy. I'm on Lucy. No, I'm Lucy. Lucy. I don't I don't Lucy. That. Mean you taking it out of the pack? Pack up your truck. Yeah. So Lucifer. Rather than the tomorrow. While you were Lucifer, <laughs> the light your flag, small boys, that's the star, all these things. From anyway. Uh, but it's a terrible thing. But how about, how about you, 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 got the, you got the race thing and you got all that stuff and everything. How about you know, you're a woman and there's some things going on in that, that front, that feminist front. Are you associating with that? Or well, what I do you think about that? That, which, that which the women are starting to become a major force, mm -hmm. and that's something that's worth considering, because you are, as I notice, a woman. That's right. And so you've been growing up a, wo a strong woman, mm -hmm. among a lot of strong that's men right. in a movement that was strong. So maybe you could comment on the role well, of the... Well, I told them at the, the Judiciary Committee on yeah. the young people who were involved with the... Uh, it was not Gina event, whatever it was down in New Orleans years ago, but yeah. Congress <laughs> committee. I uh, was forced to have to speak. Pam Africa was on my case, so I'm I was sorry, sad I can't to have to laughing speak. with you. But <laughs> I said, you know, mm. it's mama time. Uh huh. You think so? Okay. Yes, it is. Laying down my cross. That, that could be the family. Laying down my cross, uh -huh. and I'm picking up my sword. Okay. And all mothers have got to lay down the cross because we're talking about the planet that we gave birth to. To human life. Okay. Women okay. did that. The feminine thing, yeah. Mama yeah. did. Yeah, that. right, that's right. Mama nurtured and developed. Absolute. Mama mothered agriculture, Absolute. not Papa. Yeah. Those okay. things that keep you from day to day. Yeah. Right. Those are mama things. Okay. Mama things. Medicine, herbal medicines, yeah. mama things. Caring, caring. nurturing, 
Yeah, caring, the mentoring. Uh, guarding those least advantaged or, and being able to take care of themselves. And being the concerned with the least among us seems to be part of the... And trying to keep the culture intact. And keep the culture intact That's and good. allow them to grow and encourage and, and help all of that. help me to grow up by 35. Uh, <laughs> 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 Get out of all that nonsense. <laughs> Get them past <laughs> all that nonsense. So my mom oh, told me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, no. We're here grow up by 35. It's a no, problem. We're it, both 31 to 7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's a lot of that. But no, I mean, that's coming on strong now. Yeah, Clearly. no, but, 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 but the issue of making yeah. sure that every state in the union, yeah, every state in the union, yeah, legalizes, well, yeah, by coming in and signing on to, uh -huh. The Equal Rights Amendment. Oh yeah, Buckminster Fuller, my hero. Eighteen of my outstanding. My my hero, Buckminster Fuller. He absolutely wept when that wasn't what got through. Oh, I'm through. sure. Yeah, it came so. But we got close. eighteen states still crying. Yeah, yeah. And we got the women in those states. Yeah. My sisters in those states. Yeah. So what color they are? What yeah, cultures. Right. Yeah. Those are my sisters. Yeah. And they they are not fighting. Mm, they're not. They're ex no, they're no, they're not. They're just. Okay, go For on. For the most part, they're yeah. sitting there. If not, we would have already had half the Senate, uh -huh. the numbers in the Senate, yeah. to legalize uh, the Equal Rights Amendment. We well, can talk about this piece. Is, that, is that something that's in the hopper now or it's not? It's been or in there for years. Yeah, I know. It got voted down. It, it didn't get uh, voted. You know, so. It, what's 18 the votes out. A, a, okay. We got 18 uh -huh. states we got to jump on. Then Mississippi, Alabama, and, and out west, the Carolinas. Right. It's the same old states it's that now same have who? Uh, the Tea Party. Yeah, tea, isn't that something? It's yeah, the Tea Party yeah, states. Yeah, and yeah. we need to ask what's wrong with that mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Especially when, when, when my sisters, and sisters, I ain't talking about your mind. I really yeah, am not. Yeah. But uh, we as women yes. have some ancestral responsibilities. And virtue, and 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 important virtue. Like if you if you if you look at things in a certain cynical, that would mm -hmm. be called cynical kind of way. The way the world's always been organized is whoever's got the big club would be the one that's that got in the big house. He had the power to intimidate, to beat on the head, to win by military fight and all that. And the wisdom schools are the major people, the artists, the people have always uh, all of the schools have said. Let's take care of the least among us. It's been the women that have taken care of some of the most but disadvantaged. But we have the and biggest stick sisters. We got the children. Well, we were taking care. We got the men. So women have to begin to assert their role as women. And actually, we have the economy. Okay, spell it out a little bit. It's important. What I'm saying yeah, is, is that most That's things are the names of the yeah. women. Yeah. Right? Well, because you got safety. Men got safety. They're pulling out now. But men got safety by putting everything over here in the woman. So if he got assaulted, the woman had it. Uh, right? And then he could come back later and pick it up. So women like, got... Like you know, assets or something? Assets and uh, properties and... Okay. Sure. Yeah. And women. Yeah. And women... But they were also taking care of the youth. They nurturing. And they were taking care so of the least... Of all of these the, things the most vulnerable we aspects. Because were told that our jo only job in the world was to serve men. Well, There's a little group called the Five Percenters. What's that? And they so the black group up, upstate in Albany. Oh, group. yeah. Okay, yeah. And one of their... The part of their... The part of their... I don't want to call it philosophy, but a part of their, of their thinking is, is that women are earth. And so they just refer to women as earth. I said, women is earth? Yeah. What do they mean? That was some that our only yeah. purpose is to be used. Yeah. Well, that was the attitude towards slaves. That was That's the correct. attitude toward the least. That's right. Of that was the, the attitude society. The, the Scots, the Welsh, the Germans, yeah. the Irish, the Polish, the Hungarian. And we had a world that favors those who already have and do not care about those who are the least advantaged among us. So my dad had a million but dollars. He died and my husband got the money. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Out the property. Yeah. So now uh, let's get real. No, but I'm thinking... Because we didn't deal with daddy. Yeah. Mama didn't deal with daddy. Daughter was left disadvantaged. Yeah. So are you talking personally? I'm talking now about the United States no, of America. United States, yeah, right, okay, right. That's how property was inherited in No, but I'm thinking that's part Women of Women had no right to. But, that, but that, that concern for every, that democratic concern for everybody, including the least advantage, seems to have a good component of concern among the female contingent. 
Well, it's growing. Of, it's a growing thing, but women have to. And that includes the ecology, the ecological right. thing. And there's a lot, and that's all growing. And it seems to me that's very much those principles of taking care of the whole, the whole thing, not just a few people who are already well ensconced and getting kickbacks and you know all that kind of stuff for the people who are already up there in the mountain to, or in the, the kingdom, uh, the the pa palace or something, but taking care of the whole. It's like a responsibility for the whole system, which seems to be blowing in the wind. And that, that kind of concern has been part of a well-seen and very proud uh, feminine tradition. Yeah. It seems to me. Well, no. It, it, you know, the we men could back, learn from them. We've got to. So we go back to Africa, ancient Africa, where we oh, realize that women were... The male principle could, honored, were, could, were, could were learn from the female principle. Right. Women were honored. Yeah. That loud women, therefore, even if you were in a patrilineal society. Which most of them have been. Uh, the matri in terms of matri power. Matri matri matriarchal society was Africa, mo mostly. But there were patriarchal kingdoms. And so if you were in a patriarchal kingdom where yeah. men actually asserted they were the council of the elders, they ruled, yeah. you were always the pillow that had to be consulted before a single. Decision. Is that true? Is that well, really true, true in real terms? That is you know? true in real terms. It's not just the guy who's got the gun and they come in and conquer like now, everyone else. This is the guys that came in from the outside. Oh I'm talking now about the guy on the ground that had to face those from the outside. Uh -huh. And had they been looking, to, listening to the Nzingas. Uh -huh. and What's the Nzingas? The, the great queen. Of the, of a, a the Zinga's a term? Angola. Oh, go. Okay, yeah, go. okay, yeah, yeah. But listen to the Nzingas. He said to her brother, you know, don't let them land. Uh -huh. Talking about the Portuguese when they were coming in, talking about they, this early 1400s. Yeah, early, right, right, right. No, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they had been listening to the Kahinas and listening to the other women. Kahina is a term for like women. Uh, I mean, she's a priest. sister. Out of, she's a Berber. Out of Burma. the mountains, the out mountains, of the mountains of yeah, the, 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 in the, 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 the Algeria. Yeah, right. So if you've been listening, and these are some yeah. fighting women, these women organize other women. These are right. the great warrior women. Okay. But nobody was listening to these women. They but didn't if you leave them when they said, if you let them put your feet on the ground here, there'll be nothing left. Yeah, but let me make a point, if I could. For there was no way that, let's say, the Amera Indian nations of North America could have withstood what was coming by the European invaders. You could have said, don't let them come. There was no way you can stop them from coming because oh, they were sure coming they with their stopped them. No, they could not have. Oh, yes, they could have. You think with so? The Choctaw, with the Cherokee. Let's look at the natives that hooked up with. Okay. The only way they could That's destroy. And yeah. then the final blow to the natives came from something called Buffalo Soldiers. Oh, yes, they could have. You think they oh, could have? Oh, no doubt about it. They okay. did not. They, 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 that was that whole thing of divide and conquer. Oh, yeah, that right. They did everywhere. That's they came true. in with all That's these true. weapons. That's true. But oh no, yeah. no, no, no. And there's no Vietnam is a, is, is a classic example Boy. that the weapons ain't enough. Well, that's a good. That's a. That's okay. That's a, that's very interesting. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I know. So I, the, I told so you the divisions is yeah. the breaking people down and then creating. You go to the lowest uh, where things fall apart at Chebe. Yeah. Right in on uh, on on Nigeria, Africa area. Yeah. Right. Um. Uh, that when the enemy came, they went to the groups that had been tossed out of society. Uh -huh. They were looked down on by right. the law. And that's how they got in. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. this is the same thing. It, it happened everywhere. Well, it does happen. I guess it did, but I, it just seems And these are the groups you arm, by the way. These are the groups that will be armed in Liberia, and Sierra Leone, Congo, uh -huh. uh, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic, into <laughs> Ecuador, yeah. everywhere you go. Yeah. These are the same groups. Uh -huh. um, the groups that the society had outside it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now they have been told, you are the Christian. Yeah. You're better than your brothers and uh -huh. sisters. Uh -huh. They are heathens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know, but you know, what does Christian do? But that concern. Same thing. Yeah, but that concern. Uh, it's just okay. Uh, the, the the being, it, uh, you know, I, the idea of having a situation where everybody is served equally and well, and that, you know, uh, it's sort of like a round. It's sort of like a thing where uh, it's concerned with the larger issues, including the least among us, and not just gilding the nest of those who are already rich and powerful, which seems to be the operative context by which the politics and the thinking intellectually is mm -hmm. now in mm -hmm. the saddle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems to me like it's probably been like that from Rome to feudal times with kings and things and the people wallowing around in 
you know, serfdom. Yeah, we like things it's, that way. It's not just. It's the not things that way has always been there. Yeah. And so I'm happy that you have gone through the land unless you stopped at the king's door and paid up, paid some tribute. <laughs> yeah, right. And then, and then you, when they you cut this land across mm, the road, mm, yeah. <laughs> so, so you come up to the gate. Mm, mm. Uh, what is that? The, the it, biblical it, context says it made Jesus says it'd be more difficult to put uh, for a camel right, to get through, through the hair, 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 hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Well, this yeah. is the same principle. Yeah. So, but what, what but I'm the political saying, class hasn't listened to this, the spiritual or the, uh, you know, the, 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 the really important issues ethically and so forth, ever, it seems to me. No, they always just that, take that, care of those who are that, already That's for the preacher in, class. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Now they're also collecting money. But so. it's also for, I think, this idea of uh, maybe the forces for that. And I'm, I'm very pleased if somebody as well as, uh, uh, situated and so forth as yourself in the Green Party and the other people in the Green Party, uh, you know, we got uh, just had an election, this sort of thing. But they may be uh, tapping into something that is a wave that's coming that is very inclusive, mm -hmm. not only of all the human beings and the least advantaged of them, and concerned somewhat with that rather than just the already wealthy, strong with all their police force and everything like that, but also the ecology because it's inherently that's a more inclusive kind of it's gotta be that. rounded, feminine that's kind of principle and that's that what we may be coming to. into its own. We're going back to where we started because Maybe. It was okay. those, those yeah. were the early years. We're going forward to we're where going we're going to begin. Yeah, but I knew, Maybe we're going I knew. forward to where we're going to begin. It's a new dawning of a thing that might be the promise. The thing that we had that we thought was no good. Uh, well, we're okay, out. that might be. We need a metaphor, but the yeah. thing is, so I guess it comes down to are you optimistic, pessimistic I'm for optimistic. I'm the optimistic. movement and for the human prospect? Well, uh, we're get a couple I, I think we live in a great danger time. In, in that That's what I was saying. With the weapons, if we can yeah. avoid a civil war in the United States, which Thank I you. think we're on, on, on that course right now. Okay. And if we can avoid a world war, yeah. we're on that yeah. course right now. Mm. So America is kind of like France was when Nazi Germany was coming in. She was pressured from within and yeah. from without, okay. which made her kind of a pushover for Germany. Right. right. So America's reached that point. But where is the world? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I think the world will be ready for justice more. Th oh, no. Be capable of delivering honest to God material and, and justice to the whole system rather than have it just reserved for a, a privileged few. I think that may be the problem. that President Barack Obama uh -huh. was going to do that. That's what he may yet be able to. I'm not. I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm, I'm so. Saying, I'm saying I'm not jumping at, at this yeah. point. I'm I was happy to get in touch with Because when I look at the, 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 the evolution of this right wing, I think yeah. we have to all. Yeah, it's back. it's absurd to it's, me. It's, 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 bitter, it's, it's nasty. Bitter. It's like a spitting snake. It's like the, the snake. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, but I think we've come to that point, and the Green Party should be uplifted. I was listening that morning, Joe, the other morning. Yeah, on yeah. And I very seldom look and listen at, yeah. at some of these shows, but I went to Channel 14 on my TV. Yeah, yeah. And got something called Morning Joe. Yeah, Morning Joe. And yeah. I was very Joe's impressed Carver. that they were talking about um, the need for independent politics. Okay. And now maybe some independent candidates. We need now an independent movement. Why can't we get a third party? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm like, this is I like, got a third party for this you, you Joe, and it's called the Democratic Station. <laughs> 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 so, hey, Greens, yeah. the Democratic Station right. say we need a third party. Well, yeah. And yeah. they understood the issues, you know, the lack of money, yeah. which is the big thing for the yeah. Greens, is the lack yeah. of money. Right. Yeah, right. Material yeah. resources. Right. So, maybe that'll help us get some material resources from that Democratic That'd channel. be a good thing that could happen. It couldn't happen to a nicer person. And one of the tyrannies of time of the existence is time. We've run out of time, darling. That's all right. Thank you. So good. Green Party. Go green with <laughs> Coley and everything. And I think we've touched on some real issues like that. And I do think that it may be more uh, you know, it's like the thing, the further back you pull the tension, the better goes the arrow or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I probably said my mother would a sing, big change me in and the devil do had a yeah. wrestle. Yeah. And I won. Yeah. Oh, that your mama. Me and the devil. We had a wrestle. I won. Oh, I threw the devil. devil. He threw me. <laughs> but I won my soul for an eternity. Hey, hey, I won. Sing it, girl. So we sing, won. Sing it, girl. <laughs> Okay, good. That's what we have to remember. The one and only Corey Clark. You could do, uh, you could do clubs. You could make your way. Anyway, thanks a lot for viewing. Thanks okay. so much, Aaron. Yeah, so good to see you, darling. Okay. It's always a pleasure.